Good morning. It's Wednesday, new month, August, August 3rd, 2022. And you are in the 52 weeks of dishcloths. My name is Diane Roberts. This is my retirement vlog. Basically what retired people do day to day. Um, one thing I want to report on up front is I've talked so much about the um, trip to um, the East Egg Township in New Jersey. Last weekend, we did go. Allison, Hunter, and I went by, the, by car to um, New Jersey. And it was wonderful. It was great. I had an excellent time. But it was hard. It was grueling. It was very hot. We were outside all day on the on a parking lot, black tar parking lot, and it was about 100 degrees. It was very warm. We were probably outside from 8.30 till about, we went into the store at about 1, 1.30. Uh, we, we had little breaks in and out going back to the car and turning on the air for a little bit, like five or 10 minutes, but doesn't get real cool. We cooled off a little, so it was great. Hunter didn't get to buy any animatronics, although he did buy a long skeleton that he could hang that was dressed up like in a sports jacket and pants, and it spoke. It had four different phrases. He liked that. Um, he under he he was disappointed. He under you know he learned the lesson of disappointment and understanding that sometimes you can't get what you want at these sales. Uh, there were over a thousand people there, so it um, they ran out of stock within the first hour. And you had to um, go in per number. We were in the eight, the middle 800s, so that's what happened with us. I'm going to um, insert a picture here uh, so you can see Hunter um, inside the store. So as I said, it was a real good time. We got lanyards, which are a nice souvenir in itself. Um, there is our number, 855. But it was a real nice lanyard, and it has the um, date of the, of the uh, opening event. It was really nice. So we all got one of these, which I think is a good souvenir. Um, at one point, Hunter lost his, but it was actually in the car, so it wasn't a concern. Um, and we had a very good day. It was fun. It was like a, a crazy time. So that was that. Now we're back to normal life. Took me a couple of days to recover. Whoops, my dog is choking on something. One moment again. Guess it's going to be one of those days. Uh, he snuck in a branch when I wasn't looking and he swallowed a chunk, but I got it out. Okay, back to business, August 3rd, 2022, week 31 of the 52 weeks of dishcloths. Before I get to today's dishcloth, I want to show you last week's finished project, Crazy Eights. I love this. I love this. It's called Psychedelic. I like the way it turned out. It went quick. It was easy. I never ended up making the small ones because I didn't even try to um, knit on our weekend away because... It was too crazy and hectic. So that was last week's finished. This week's, I don't even have a name for it. I think I'm gonna call it Circular circular Ridges because my friend Donna from Espresso Knitters, um, I think it was her birthday. It's either her birthday. Oh my goodness, pardon me. Leave it. Thank God he understands that. He was just attacking all the squash in the box on top of his crate. I think it's my friend Donna's birthday this week. I could be off, but I thought I saw that on Facebook this week. So happy birthday, Donna. And if not, be it's a happy belated birthday because I think it might have been yesterday or maybe it's today. Okay, Donna told me about this pattern. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. It's actually a baby blanket. I couldn't find it. Um, there's a free Ravelry uh, page on Facebook, a Facebook page. I couldn't find it there either, but there's more than one free Ravelry pattern Facebook page. So I don't know if I'm even, I even belong to the correct one, but
but she explained to me what to do and I wrote it down on the back of a bookmark and I will write it out in the uh, in the in the um, information box below uh, I can't believe it but someone's coming in this place is gonna be a crazy day today oh wait no nope, they're coming in be right back okay <laughs> how many times have I already stopped started and stopped that was my husband he just came in he found the TV <laughs> in a boom box somewhere. He brought them home. Uh, Alva, Alva, give me that toy. Go get a different toy. That's the noisiest toy we own. So let's pick that while Diane's recording. Okay, back to what I'm calling the circular ridges. The reason I'm calling that is because I didn't finish it for a specific reason. I always have a reason. It's it's done, but I just have to bind off. But what I wanted to show you is how it looks. One side shows ridges like this, and the other side shows a different color ridges because it shows it, it's whatever the predominant color is. That side it's the variegated stuff, and this side is the moss green. Because I did it in these two colors. There is a bit of green in this and the moss green. I like these colors. And what you do is this. You cast on whatever you want. This is 35. That was Donna's recommendation. So I did the 35. Cast on 35 on circular needles. I used size seven. So I cast on with the green so I'd be down here, right? <laughs> and you cast on your 35, knit across, turn, knit back. Then push all the stitches back to the other side of the needle. which I should have showed it to you this way. Push all the stitches back to the other side of the needle because I just did the green. Because after two rows, you're going to end up with the row you just started and finished. And then the other end, you've got your two rows of green done. Pretend we're way down at the beginning. Then you take your variegated and you, you, you attach that. And you knit two rows. And when you get to the end here, you bring all this back every two rows you bring it back and start the other color simple 35 stitches on a set size 7 and I knit kind of loosely got me 8 inches so I made it 8 inches long so right now I'm ready to do the bind off and it's done and it's quick so you knit two rows of the solid push them back, knit two rows of the variegated, push it back, knit two rows of the, thousand, of the, the solid. So that's how simple it is. I'm calling it the circular ridges. And uh, as I said, I'll have it in the description box written out. You could probably cut and paste it. Or you, you don't even need to because it's very simple to remember. I write things down though. And just make it square. Unless you want it long, you just keep going. So that's it for this week. Short and sweet. I'm tempted to just sign off now before someone else comes through the door. It's about 9.30. Haven't seen my father in days, so I think he's due for a visit. And you never know who, who else may be on the way. I kind of got a suntan at the thing Saturday. Because when I take my glasses off, <laughs> see, you can see. I, no, actually, I got a sunburn because my face was hot when I got home. And I had sunscreen on. So, good. it was a good trip, a good week. And I'm wishing you a good rest of the week. 
and I'll see you next week on the 52 Weeks of Dishcloths. Bye now. Hey guys, and today we're at the flagship location at Egg Harbor, New Jersey, Town Square. You can kind of see the sign. We're getting word. It's not over there. But you can see there's a giant pumpkin. It's really noisy. The workers are in the building. We need everybody to move towards the white tent. And everybody move towards the white tent. Uh, Trailer, and we're going to be going in there soon. Here? So this is Hunter's Haunting by his Hunter. And this is uh, the Spirit Halloween store. Where? Oh, that's cool. Look, it's Ghostface. 